Our next award this evening honors extraordinary commitment to Peace Through Media Award. Please welcome to the stage Ms. Ka Catherine Cameron Porter, President of the Leadership Council for Human Rights and Rumi Forum Advisory Board Member. Wow, what an evening, what an antidote to political Washington. It's fabulous. I am very pleased to be here tonight to award on behalf of the Rumi Forum the Extraordinary Commitment to Peace Through Media Award to Diane Rehm, host of the Diane Rehm Show. Diane Rehm is a force to be reckoned with. She's a native Washingtonian who began her radio career in 1973 as a volunteer producer for WAMU 88.5, the NPR member station in Washington, D.C. She was hired as an assistant producer and later became the host and producer of two health-oriented programs. In 79, she began hosting WAMU's local morning talk show, Kaleidoscope, which was later named the Diane Rehm Show. The Diane Rehm Show was named to the top 10 list of most powerful programs in public radio in 2007 and 2008. Based on its ability to draw listeners to public radio stations, it's the only live call-in talk show on the list. In 2010, Diane Rehm won a Peabody Award, widely considered one of the most prestigious of a selective honors in electronic media, you all know that, for her more than 30 years in public broadcasting. In 98, Diane Rehm nearly ended her career because of spasmodic dysphonia, which is a neurological voice disorder. And she has persevered through this, sought treatment, returned to the show, and called attention to the condition the National Council on Communicative Disorders recognized her work with a communication award and ABC's Nightline devoted an entire program to a conversation with Diane about her disorder. She is a director emerita of the Penn Faulkner Foundation and a trustee emerita of McDaniel College in Westminster, Westminster Maryland. She's been awarded honorary degrees from the Virginia Technological Theological Seminary, Washington College, and McDaniel College. She's a successful, successful author of three books, Finding My Voice in 1999, in which she describes her childhood, marriage, career, and voice disorder, Toward Commitment, a dialogue about marriage, a deeply personal book co-authored with her husband, John, and her most recent book written about her beloved dog, Life with Maxie. It's an honor to welcome Diane Rehm to the stage. Thank you, Catherine, and thank you all for this absolutely wonderful honor and this grand celebration. I have to tell you that when Catherine said, what a wonderful antidote to Washington politics, <laughs> I found myself wishing that every single member of Congress were sitting in this room to see that grand film and to hear the comments of Bishop Tutu's daughter. This morning, first I'll tell you what you already know, that NPR is labeled liberal. In my mind, what liberal 
has always meant and continues to mean to me is someone or some group that is open to hearing others' ideas and others' voices. This morning, Pat Buchanan was on my program <laughs> to talk about his belief that America is in suicide mode because it has welcomed too many diverse voices, religions, ideals, ethnic backgrounds into this country. It was my deep dedication to making certain that he could say what he chose to say on my broadcast, even as I sat there cringing. <laughs> but it's important for all of us to hear these voices that sound with anger, with hostility, and for some, with joy. I'm so thankful and grateful to the Rumi Forum for this honor. Thank you all so much. <laughs>